and welcome back to another video. As you can see here, we have our July scroller box. If you don't know what a scroller box is, it is a monthly art subscription box where you receive mysterious art supplies every week, a scroller theme, which is usually a word or phrase, a scroller zine that tells you a bit about the supplies, a bit about the featured artist, and some scroller tips, etc. on the supplies. You receive a piece of artwork from the featured artist and a little bit of information about them, a little suite, and a scroller sticker. And for each box purchased, a, plant, a tree will be planted, which is always fantastic. The price has just recently gone up because of all the cool stuff they're including, including the zine, etc., from £15 to £16.95. And the postage is free in the UK and outside the UK, there will be an additional postage fee. So let's get into this box. I'm quite excited. It's quite heavy, a little bit bulky on one side. So I'm interesting to find out what they have included. Very nice. Let's take all this out of the box. Put that to one side. So here is the zine. I like to look at this and kind of see what um, what the supply could be. So this kind of looks a bit like watercolours. Could also be alcohol ink, you know, doing that kind of like drying effect. Um, so we'll put that to one side for now and we'll read from that a bit later. Here is the featured artwork. So again, similar vein in terms of the front of the scroller zine. A bit different. I can't tell whether that's alcohol or it's watercolour, but interesting. Here is a little bit about the featured artist. So pause the video here if you'd like to, to read more about it. So Jess Kirkman is an award-winning artist and designer who specialises in alcohol, inks, resin and encaustic mediums, using them to create abstract universes and feel-good art. So you can read more if you would like. Um, and there is a um, their social media at the bottom there. So it sounds like this could be alcohol inks just from that little bit that we read. So very nice. And put that up there. We have a Yuppo pad, definitely alcohol inks then. So this is a Yuppo pad specially made for scroll box. So it will have a limited amount of pages, but it's always much better. Let's get this pen here. Um, nowadays, this is why the price has gone up because you, you don't just get like one or two pieces of paper. You will get at least eight to ten Um so that's good. So yes, your paper is usually what comes with your alcohol ink. So we definitely know that is in this box, which is really exciting. It's a bit more crafty, which is something that scroll box don't really do. They did say something different was coming in this box. So let's get into the actual supplies here. So here is our scroll sticker, another snippet of the artwork on the front cover, etc. Oh God, look at the size on this. Okay, so this is different. It's usually a long, slender thing. Um, we've already seen that the Scrawler Challenge is Nebula, a glowing form of clouds made of, up of in, interstellar gas and dust. So that's great. I'm excited for this. I really love alcohol inks. I've, I've been doing them a lot lately. So our, our sweet this month is a drumstick, bubblegum flavour. I love a drumstick. I love the, I love the flavours of a drum, drumstick, so I'm excited to eat that. And then let's pull all this out of this paper. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. We have the just standard clear alcohol ink there. Diamond sparkle. Oh, never mind. I tell a lie. It's got diamond sparkle in it. I wonder if it's sim similar to the kind of like unicorn ink that you, you get with um, alcohol inks. Then we have Caribbean blue, I'm assuming. Oh, here's the the extender ink so that's just the clear ink and then we have magenta so a limited color which is why everything looks how it does but i'm so excited for this i'm so excited so this is definitely a little bit more crafty than um the usual scroller boxes i'm glad that we're not just receiving paints and pens because it, it was getting a bit bit um repetitive there so we have our Pro Art Master Stroke Series 60 round brush. So that's for manipulating the ink. We have a straw again for blowing the ink and drying it where we'd like it. And then a pipette, which is always handy for this type of thing. Do you know what I really like about these? That they have this um, a bit more of a finer point. My my alcohol inks is a little bit wider than that. And sometimes you can't get quite get the control. So I'm excited for this. Um, so yes, these are Marabou alcohol inks. So we have the 
three colours in three colours, and then we have the Marabou Alcohol Extender, which is just clear alcohol, I believe. We've got the pipette, um, paper straw, master paintbrush, and the Yuppo pad. Yes. Okay, I'm excited. Really excited, can you tell? Um, so let's have a quick flick, flick through of this. I'm not going to swatch them because it's basically these colours that you're seeing on everything. Um, but we will be doing a lot of playing around with it, I think. Um, so that's all the supplies. I like the layout of this. It's always very nice. Um, yes, here we go. The supplies menu has a new design. So I'm assuming they're always going to be a square pad like that, which is good. Um, so this is, again, a little bit more about the artist. I don't know if you, if you pause there, you'll be able to, to read that. Um, but I will read that in my spare time. But some of this artwork's lovely. Look at this one. It's very nice. Um, scroller tips, which I will read over some of the time lapsing of the artwork. Um, so we can get on with that. And then this is the scroller gallery. So this is the secret garden, I believe. So this is where two boxes prior to this box, they feature some of the artwork. So this is amazing. I really struggle with that secret garden one, but some people have really really come up with some good ones um very nice very nice very different okay and then this is some scroll extra so this is just telling you about space i'm assuming since that is our theme um and then just an update on the price change which i've already mentioned so that's good like i said i will read some of those scroller tips whilst we do some time lapses of the artwork but i'm really excited i think we can create some really nice abstract art with this um and it's just something right up my street at the moment i've been really exploring the alcohol link so um super excited to get into this so in terms of the scroller tips i've used quite a lot of them actually in this video and i mentioned a few at the end so i'll leave those out of this initial voiceover um but one of them was to use that straw to create a wispy effect blow gently through the straw to move the ink around the page switch up the direction to get full the full effect try not to breathe in it's best to avoid inhaling the fumes now i will say that these inks are very very strong and pungent smelling they are definitely a different type of ink to, well i won't say a different type of all alcohol inks but it's a different smelling ink to my other alcohol inks so it does um it is quite strong so i suggest leaving the windows open i did just that whilst i was using these so that's just one thing to bear in mind um the extender will help blend and move inks and can reactivate them once dry just like water into watercolor paints that's also true um it was very handy to kind of play around with how saturated you wanted the colors so obviously the more blender ink you added the less saturated the color would be um let the drinks dr the drinks wow well, let the inks dry on the page then activate a small section with the extender for better control you can also work back in with the extender to lighten and remove the ink colors so like i was just saying you can have more saturated less saturated you can actually remove the color at the end um after i filmed this whole video i actually cleaned up one of my artworks by adding some isopropyl alcohol and just rubbing off the ink it came off the page really easily so um, well, all of the colours except the pink. The pink seemed to stain it. Um, but yes. Um, then the bonus tip was to add black fine liner to add some line work. Um, solvent based markers are best, like a Sharpie. So I didn't do that in this video, but I definitely think I'm going to try that in the future. I think it'd be really, really good. And then notes from the artist. I will read all of these. Um, an, import, an important note about alcohol inks is let the inks guide you, not the other way around. Alcohol inks are all about letting go of control, so go with that uncomfortable feeling of the medium. Be patient with yourself and know that learning the ins and outs of a specific medium takes time. Use more alcohol slash extender on your piece when you are first starting out. This will allow the inks to blend together in special ways and from there you can add details as the piece dries. Don't expect to pick the medium up immediately. Practice a lot to get familiar with the medium and learn how the inks work, almost scientifically before you try to create anything specific. Using colours that you know will blend well together is a nice way in, into using inks. The magenta and Caribbean blue will create a beautiful purple when blended, which as you can see on screen here, it really, really does. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this and I think these are really good. And I'll share my final thoughts at the end and talk you through the artworks and I'll let you watch the rest of this in peace. Thank you. 
and kind of just playing around with them i i really enjoyed this box i think it's very different i think it's got a lot of scope for various artworks and um i kind of have an idea where if you block out a part of this yuppa paper and then do the alcohol inks over the top and then go in with some finer details to create almost like an image i think that would work really well um these alcohol inks are slightly thicker than the alcohol inks i think i've got picard alcohol inks they're slightly thicker than those and i'm not sure why um and but they're very nice they blend very nicely i think you can get a lot of interesting textures and color mixes out of these um although having said that there, there are only the two colors so you do only get the pink the blue and then the deep purple really um but the alcohol ink, it says in the scroller book that this is the extender for, um, you know, creating a longer drying time, etc. for the alcohol inks. And although it does that, I think it, I, I literally now I know this is just alcohol, just a straight alcohol ink. But I always think alcohol artists seem to be able to manipulate their work quite a lot longer. Now, this I didn't feel like did that. It still dried the same as when I add normal isopropyl alcohol. So that's all I'm assuming this is. Tell me otherwise if you're an alcohol artist. I don't know if there's a special extender alcohol that does do that. But I just felt like this acted exactly the same as my isopropyl alcohol. So I wouldn't say this was anything special. So if you run out of it, literally use al uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um, as for this glittery ink, it's very nice. Um, it does create that lovely glittery look. It can clump just like, say, a gold ink or a silver ink would. And unfortunately, I'm not sure the makers of this have thought this through, but there is a ball in there to break up the glitteriness into the alcohol so that it flows a bit better. However, that ball does get stuck in the nozzle. So every time I was squirting it out, I was finding it was getting stuck and then I wasn't able to squirt quick enough. And so I wasn't working as fast as I possibly wanted to with this and sometimes it would come out a lot thicker i have some on my desk uh let's see if i can show you yeah i have some on my desk here just at the bottom and as you can see it's very pigmented the glitter's almost silvery white when it's clumped up which has a nice effect but unfortunately you can't control that because of that ball getting stuck and i don't know if that's just me having that issue or everyone else has had the same issue um but that's all i found with that which was slightly annoying and slightly inconvenient um but in terms of the out the artwork i actually didn't use my pipette at, at all um i probably could have i did make um at the start as you saw with this um much i've got them laid over each other and i really shouldn't because they're sticky still um with this really dark artwork that i first attempted i wanted to create lines so i mixed up the blue and the magenta just to create that really deep purple and i did the lines and i wanted to do sections but unfortunately, I think I overloaded it with ink. Um, and so I, I lost those lovely lines that I created other than this kind of main one running through the middle here. Um, so maybe pipetting that on a bit lighter would have been a bit better. Um, and I also went really heavy with this because I really wanted that dark, that dark uh, purple colour. Because with the, with the scholar Challenge being nebula, I thought it's usually a darker colour. It's not usually as light as this um, featured artwork is. And so I wanted to go a bit darker, but overall I think I went a little too dark everywhere. Um, and I did try splashing with the paintbrush a little bit of alcohol ink slash a bit of that glittery ink on top, which did create some lovely texture here, which if you can 
control that a little bit better maybe just use the tip of the paintbrush which i don't know why i didn't think of doing um you would get that lovely nebula starry night type image which is quite nice so then i went on to kind of doing what i would usually do which is this kind of fade from one corner to another and i thought i would fade that nice blue and the nice magenta into the deep purples in the center unfortunately as much as i was praising those fine tip nozzles i found they splashed quite easily i just moved the ink slightly quicker than usual and it would splash everywhere so unfortunately i have these little splashes here and here um which you know it's just a, a fact of doing this type of artwork if you spill it, it it stains and that's that but um yeah and i tried to get i don't know if you can see oh yeah you can i tried to get that kind of glitteriness going through it which created a nice nebula look i think this is my favorite out of the the three that i created and then lastly i did this kind of blowing technique where i dropped it on and then blowed it blowed it blew it blew it um and i really enjoyed the look of that it's very nice there's not much control over that but it's sometimes that's nicer to do um and that's what i think is really good about these alcohol inks you don't have to necessarily control them quite so much they can just be explored and played with a bit willy-nilly and that's sometimes a bit freeing so this is why i really love alcohol ink and um i hope anyone else that's watching this that has got this box will enjoy kind of just exploring them and it doesn't matter what the the outcome is as you can see i very much have very different outcomes depending on what i was doing and as much as i like this really dark one i think i prefer this kind of more controlled look but again you might fancy just creating this and using it for scrapbooking or um putting in your bullet journal or doing some line work on in the scroller tips they do say a bonus tip is using a black fine liner um so that's something to maybe explore as well so i think that's very nice um another thing to know is I suggest taking your pad off your pieces of paper off the pad because as you can see from that first artwork where I overloaded the ink it has stained the corners of all of my yuppo paper which is very unfortunate um however it's not the end of the world <laughs> just just trying to give you a tip to maybe take it off and just use it and I do have it all over my um desk which is annoying but i can just use some alcohol ink to rub that off so it shouldn't be a problem but if you have a white desk do protect do uh what's the word protect it that's it do protect it and i suggest always having a bit of um tissue paper because when i accidentally added too much ink i could just take some of that ink off with my tissue paper and it's good for wiping your brush on etc um any other thoughts no, I think I think they're very nice. I'm I actually I really rate the fact that Scrawler are trying to go a little bit different to our usual box of pens and paints. Um I think it's something that will bring in a wider audience and just make people want to explore a little bit with different um supplies because sometimes the pens and the, the pencils and paints can just become a little bit repetitive and some people might potentially not subscribe after doing it for a short um, amount of time just because it does become repetitive and um, so i really rate that this is something a bit different um but yeah i've really enjoyed it and i hope you've enjoyed watching i've just been exploring nothing too strenuous but i think i am going to create a video combining these inks and my own inks and maybe doing a really intensive piece of artwork where i actually make it try and look like something um so give me a thumbs up if you want to see that and comment down below what um, subject you'd like me to create with these alcohol ink um, and whether you've enjoyed this box too because I hope you have as much as I have so thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video